YouTube, Edgar here, and welcome to Artifexy, and here you will learn everything you ever wanted to know about world building, and then some. Hey, wanna build a P-type binary star system like Tatooine? Step 1, under Twin Sands. Firstly, we have to construct not one, but two stars. If you don't know how to build a star, no problem. Click the links on screen or in the description to find out how. Make sure though that your primary star, i.e. the most massive of the pair, has a mass between 0.6 and 1.4 solar masses. The secondary or companion star must be less than or equal to it in mass. However, don't have the secondary star be less than 0.08 solar masses or else it's no longer a star. Here's my two stars, Mikel A and B. I've given them masses of 1.3 and 0.9 solar masses. Note that Mikel A is my primary star, and Mikel B is its secondary companion. Score! Step 2. Space out. The average separation of the stars is a crucial factor in this build. Set the average separation somewhere within this range. However, if you want your system to be habitable, I'd advise sticking to the extreme low end of this range. So let's say Mikel A and B are separated on average by 0.3 AU. Great! Step 3. Calculating Barry's Center So binary pairs tend to orbit each other about their common center of mass, or Barry Center. We need to know where this is because any planets present will orbit this point in space, not the actual stars. The distance from your primary star to the Barry Center is given by A, the average separation, multiplied by the mass of the secondary divided by the sum of both masses. So the Barry center of the Mikel system is located 0.12 AU away from Mikel A and 0.18 AU away from Mikel B. Step 4. How eccentric? Binary stars also tend to orbit on very elliptical paths. Eccentricity is a measure of how elliptical an orbit is. The values here go from 0 to 1, with 0 being a perfect circle, and as the values approach 1, the orbit becomes increasingly more elliptical. Select an eccentricity between 0.4 and 0.7 for both your stars. Again, it's advised to tend towards the lower end of this range. So let's give Mikel A's orbit an eccentricity of 0.4 and Mikel B 0.5. From here, calculate the maximum and minimum separation of each star from the Barry Center. For max separation, use the equation 1 plus E, the eccentricity, multiplied by OR, the average separation in AU. And for minimum separation, use 1 minus E, multiplied by OR. However, what's really important here, and will come into play later on, is the overall maximum and minimum separation of your system. Find this by adding both maximums and both minimums together, like so. More number crunching will reveal that the distance between our stars will vary from 0.16 AU to 0.44 AU. Last thing to note here is that at no point should your stars come within 0.1 AU of each other. Closer to 0.1 and the stars will begin to merge, which really isn't a good thing. Step 5. Know your limits. So like in the previous video, we need to set the inner and outer boundaries of our system to mark out a region of space within which planets can orbit. I've adapted the equations I used last time to account for the extra mass the companion star brings to the table. Do the math and the inner limit of the Mikel system is at 0.22 AU and the outer is at 88 AU. They will go here and here. Step 6. Here there be ices. Next up, calculate your system's frost line, the point beyond which gas giants will form. Again, I've covered this in the previous video, so I won't dwell on it, but like the last step, we need to account for the additional luminosity using this equation. For the Mikel system, it works out at roughly 8.3 AU. Good. Step seven, here there be dragons. Now calculate your habitable zone. Habitable zones are covered here, but modify the equations like this to account for the additional luminosity. Hopefully you're seeing a pattern here. The Mikel system has a habitable zone extending from 1.63 to 2.34 AU. Step 8. Trespassers will be shot. Let's talk now about the Forbidden Zone. The Forbidden Zone is a region of space where orbital instability exists due to the gravitational interaction between the stars. Finding the inner and outer boundaries of this zone is easy. The inner edge will be given by one third the minimum separation of the stars, and the outer edge will be at three times the maximum distance between the stars. For the Mikel system it works out at 0.05 AU for the inner edge, and 1.32 AU for the outer. Never, ever, ever place planets within this zone. 
period. Now it may well happen that your habitable zone is partially covered by the forbidden zone, in which case place planets with extreme caution. If it's totally covered it means your system is uninhabitable and you need to go back and tweak something in the earlier steps. Okay, nearly there guys. Here's the single most important thing you absolutely 100% have to adhere to in this build. In order to produce a P-type configuration, the outer edge of the forbidden zone must fall within the outer limits of your system, like it does here. Additionally, for a planet to be habitable, it must 1. be outside of the forbidden zone, 2. be in the habitable zone, and finally 3 orbit at a distance four times the maximum separation of the stars. So for Mikkel, multiplying the maximum separation, not 0.44 AU, by four, reveals that a habitable world must orbit at least 1.76 AU from the stars, which in this case falls nicely within the habitable zone. Check to see if your system fulfills these criteria. If it doesn't, go back and try a different set of figures until it all works out. Step nine and 10, Marco Polo. Last step is to place your gas giant, habitable worlds, and then find all the other orbits in the system. The process here is exactly the same as the previous video, so go check that video out. Crunch the numbers, and you'll end up with a system looking kinda like this. There you have it, one binary system, done. Guys, check the description for links to my Facebook and Twitter, but more importantly, like and subscribe right here on YouTube. Thank you all so much for watching. Edgar out.